Uh, hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to activate iOS 5 Beta 7 without having a user spot or being a developer. Um, before we start, I won't actually be doing this because um, I already have my iPhone activated and I want to mess like mess up in case of conflict or something. But this will work if you haven't got user spot or a developer's account. And so I'll run you for a quick guide explaining how to do it. So it's really really simple. Okay. Okay, so let's start. Um, first of all, you will need the IPSW file for the update, which can be downloaded from here, which is iModZone Downloads. The um, address is imzdl.com. Put links in the description below. Okay, so download the uh, version you need. They have every single one here, which is available. Uh, they're all ranging from quite big, so it'll take a while to download, depending on your Wi-Fi time. Uh, so I recommend pausing the video now before you get more in-depth in it and realize you haven't downloaded it. Also, you will need iTunes Beta 7 as well, uh, which can also be downloaded from the same site, and that's only 80 megabytes um, for Mac, Windows, uh, PC here. Yeah, so, all right. So, um, I have a rough guide here from uh, Cydia Help, a uh, pretty cool site. Um, basically, explaining how to do it. So, first of all, we have to uh, download the uh, download the iOS uh, and the um, iTunes the IPSW. And um, also download Snowbreeze, which you can do from here. The links in the description below as well. Um, so you have to choose this version here, which is the iOS 5 beta 7. So download that. It takes a few minutes, and you should get a file just like this. So run the file. Let's open it up. Give it a second. And second now, I'll open hopefully. My computer's pretty slow. It's kind of annoying. Come on. doing something. <laughs> Here we go, it's opened. Okay, it's open mic. there it is. Okay, so it comes up like this. Let it load a sec. God, it's so slow. Here we go, so press, simply press OK. So ignore this, don't worry about that. And then close credits, and then here you go. Um, by the way, this will jailbreak it as well, so it has CD on there as well, and it's tethered. So it means if it runs out of battery or crashes or restarts, you have to plug it into your PC and um, use iBooty to reopen it. You won't have to go through this process again. So just press next and then choose the IPSW. Now like I said before, I will not be doing this, so I can't do this because I want to bother to download it. So download. So once you downloaded it, just click browse, find a file like it says here. Then after that, it will identify it. It takes about five minutes. I tried it before, five minutes. It will. It looks like it's stuck loading, but it isn't, so don't worry, let it do its thing. Then it should finish. Then choose expert mode and build the IPSW. And then just press next. And then put your iDevice into the DFU mode. This is very simple. The video, the, um, sorry, video, the uh, snow breeze will explain it all and how to do it and run you through it. Uh, once you've done that, I uh, highly recommend that you back it up on iTunes. Now, to do this, it's very easy. You can either sync, which might not do a full backup or right click over the phone or the iPod or iPad and click backup and that will back up your device um, to its current state to back it up to what it for everything now so in case it does crash and you lose everything which is unlikely click restore from backup and you get a menu like this choose the one your one which is mine is there and click restore and then it will be as good as new as good as how it was when we last had it backed up okay so once you backed it up now you have to choose the IPSW. Now this is very easy. On Windows, you hold the Shift key and click uh, Restore. Okay, uh, so you do that, and then this will come up. A little browse menu like this. And then you scroll through, and then you find the IPSW which you have down, which current I the one you just made using the Snowbreeze, and then open that, and then run it. And then it sh will work. If you're using Mac, I don't know what it is, I think it's the option key or something like that. Hold that key and press restore, and then you browse to the IPSW, and there you go. Um, so once you've done that, um, wait a few minutes, it takes a couple of minutes for it to install it, and it will all be working. And then um, it will be a wiped iDevice, that's why you back it up. So go back into iTunes. When you actually you come to the screen like this on your iDevice, um, click restore, plug it into iTunes, and it will automatically copy everything across. Be as good as new. I mean, as good as how you left it, or uh, everything on there, and that should work. Now, if you do get any errors, 
uh, let me know and I'll be able to uh, point you in the right direction, help you fix it, whatever you need to fix it, I'll get it done for you. Um, so it's really simple. Uh, oh yep, yeah, and before I, uh, before I forget, um, I'm doing the app giveaway for each video and I want suggestions for apps. So any app within a reasonable budget, um, leave a comment below and I will think about it and maybe put it in my next video for a free giveaway. Um, so look forward to that. Uh, don't forget to check out the next iOS as well as my channel and hit subscribe please guys. I need some more subscribers. I've only got, I think it's 100, uh, 107 subscribers. I need a few more. Come on. I know you guys will do it. Um, so thanks for watching guys. Catch you next time. Mandela get the will to surpass the everyday When injustice had him caged and trapped in every way How did Gandhi ever withstand the hunger strikes and all